Next up, we have more sneaky Sasquatch lore. Was putting Pemberton in jail our biggest mistake yet? First, we need to look at what he did wrong. Pemberton wanted to tear down the park at the start of the story, so how would this have affected Sasquatch? The truth is that it wouldn't. The campground is distinct and separate from the area in which we live. We know this because when the game begins, we are told by the ranger to stay out of the campground, implying that our house is not within its domain. However, even if the plan to demolish the park included Sasquatch's home, we can easily rent an apartment in the city on day two, and there is still land outside of the campground which the Builder Dogs could open up for the rest of the forest animals. Wait, even if we still have a home, how would we get food and progress in the early stages of the game? Well, that isn't even a problem anymore, because people like Spence the Fence have found out that you can rob the poor on day one. Can you rob the poor in the first day? Yes, you can. It's actually... It actually wasn't that hard. Meaning you can get thousands of coins worth of food before you even find out who Mr. Pemberton is. The main catalyst for Sasquatch ever leaving the forest is that the campground would be destroyed. And this leads us to traveling around the campground, working in the city, and becoming a police officer. All with the primary goal of stop Pemberton's plans. But if we let him build condos, we wouldn't have to do this, saving ourselves a lot of time. Finally, by giving up the campground, we would be stopping Mr. Pemberton from going to jail for illegal plans, and indirectly stopping Pemberton Jr. and the goons from polluting the lake. Ultimately, stopping Mr. Pemberton was a mistake. That's all for today's programming. If you ended up enjoying, please switch to channel 2 and subscribe, or go to channel 3 and watch this video on screen.